Lnex and Akaro GB for subscribing to the channel. Hey, Appreciate you guys go. showing some love to VG in that aspect. We're going to jump into this first game right now. We got Inkling and we got Charles's favorite character, Crom. Hey, man. On the stage again. But look, look at these characters. This is a blast from the past. That's true. This Where is like, am I? This is like month three of Ultimate. Yeah, this was you know month I mean? three. Of, like, these characters were actually just crazy, crazy good. Um, I know Krom did get nerfed in a sense of he could set up the uh, the up BS, like, you know, the SD trade stock thing, like, super easily, but not going to be That was be so able. sick. I remember people died. Tweak used to do that a lot. Yeah. Tweak was, Tweak was first to Krom main. Yeah. People don't remember, man. Oh, yeah. I remember. Never forget, man. Those battles with Cosmos who used to be an Inkling main. Ooh, damn. And I'll tell you what. You see the way Inkling plays sometimes. You wonder, man, why is this character really falling out of the meta? But sometimes, you know, you just kind of get power crep. New options become available. And so that's where you kind of see the difference right now as definitely Colorado putting on quite the clinic for Mike, who don't look like he wants no more. Oh, up throw, up air, not going to be enough. The four to Inkling has received buff oh, and man. the splat bomb off stage. That Woo. is going to be yet another stock here for Colorado Market on the board. I can't is this like a freaking Splatoon 3 demo? Like, what, what are we watching right now? This I feel like this block just shows how shitty uh, Krom is. Oh, God. Jeez, Chuck. Let him breathe. <laughs> Let him breathe, huh? <laughs> Definitely something that... Uh, Krom's getting jammed, He's man. getting jammed right now. Colorado showing no mercy to Mike Moe, who is uh, oh definitely not going to want to have a repeat of that one, a convincing Woo. three stop to open Jeez. that first game. Wow. Right. Inkling off stage versus Krom recovery, huh? Mm. Wonder how that goes. Not the, not the, uh, <laughs> not the recommended <laughs> use. I wonder how that one goes. Yeah, it was pretty convincing. I must, I must confess. And just right out the gate, man. Yeah. This was nasty. The splat bomb, like boop. the back air off stage. That was so disgusting coming out from Colorado here. Setting up with the four tilt. One of the moves that did get buffed. Yeah, in that situation, just gonna call out that Krom is not gonna go for the early jump. Krom has to save that jump as a precious resource, right? Um, you know, and you do have a pretty solid directional air dodge, but where you double jump is pretty much everything with Krom. And we're gonna true. make it back to the stage here. No double jump. Oh man, that four tilt connected. Could have been a very bad situation here. Trading back and forth, trading with Inkling is going to be one of the more, like, better strategies that you want against Inkling here. Goes for the mm. forwarder at the tippity top, and I don't think you can even make it back after that. And that's just really smart awareness from Colorado, understanding, okay, if I catch this recovery at its apex, at its, at its height, that is where he's going to be most vulnerable. And Inkling, of course, with a variety of really strong aerials to kind of aid in that punish game. So this is, I mean, this is just fantastic. Okay, yep, going to go ahead and use that Inkling dash. Gonna, these Krom nairs, you're going to have to sink them real low or start bringing up some down tilt because Inkling is, uh, when Inkling's dashing, they're pretty much fused within the ground. Oh, 100%. <laughs> one of the best dashes, if not the best dash in the entire game. And I mean, one of the reasons why we saw so much Inkling play in the beginning of Ultimate, but like you said, kind of got power crept out, right? Yep. And there it is again, another forward at the apex of that upbeat. You really, really have to sweet spot that upbeat to at least make it a little bit harder to get the uh, get the hits on the up because right now, Colorado's been hitting them every single time. All right, we was able to at least get that stock off. Overshooting a little bit did Colorado, so that's going to open the door for Mike Moe to at least get on the board uh, as far as the stock goes. And there you see a nice little string together. 43% will take it. Maybe starting to find some momentum. It's definitely cooking for a moment, but you see he's able to kind of slow him down. And there Mike, we go. Oh, Mike! No, Tech! Mike! Hold on now! Yeah, right there, Colorado was actually Dion in towards the state, got the bounce off the state, but didn't get the tech there. Did not get the tech. Maybe was not maybe was not expecting that one. No, mm. yeah, but you gotta expect that. Yeah. yeah, not okay. sweet spotting, just overshooting just a tad yep. bit. And we've seen how many times Colorado getting stalked with that, right? That was the go-to, man. That was the go-to. For sure. Good good match though, nonetheless. I mean, obviously like the first one, a little bit of a wash, but uh, no quit in Mike Mo, which I did appreciate that as he was able to really make the uh, the second game pretty respectable. Yeah, yeah, you're able to sneak in these stocks. I love to see even just that double jump directional air dodge hanging onto the ledge for a little bit too long, but goes for around this height of an up B quite often here, not expecting for his opponent to jump up and over and attack the top of that up B, yep. where for a brief moment does not have a hitbox, right? So that's where you want to strike versus Krom. A lot of characters can just put their spike in that area, and right, and you, you kind of just react because 